Burn injuries, painful, potentially life-threatening, often requiring long and complex treatment. Their severity is often difficult to diagnose accurately. It's hitting right over this amplifier. At the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington. So we're looking at the femtosecond regenerative amplifier laser. Researcher Hassan Arbab is exploring a new approach to burn sure, diagnostics. Sure. The clinical problem that we're trying to solve is to improve the accuracy rate of uh, burn uh, diagnostics. Arba believes that improved diagnosis could lead to more effective treatment. The current state of the art, which is based on visual inspection of the wound by experienced burn surgeons, can only uh, differentiate between different burn grades as good as 60 to 70 percent of the time. So the error rate is still pretty high. This is significant because different grades of burn injuries would uh, basically need different course of treatment for healing. Could the key to better burn diagnosis lie in the more accurate depiction of burned tissue, a picture produced by terahertz spectroscopy? On the electromagnetic spectrum, terahertz falls in between infrared radiation and microwave radiation. The terahertz technology is extremely sensitive to the water content of the tissue and the uh, wavelength of the terahertz radiation is comparable in size to the size of these structures that are normally present in the skin, such as hair follicles and sweat glands. The more of these structures survive the burn injury, the more likely it is that the wound would heal, and the terahertz would actually non-invasively probe that. Would, without having to take a biopsy, would be able to tell us uh, whether this uh, area of the, of the burn is uh, too deep to heal by itself, or enough structures have survived that can contribute in the wound healing process. Data so far suggests terahertz spectroscopy could improve diagnosis accuracy rates from the present 60 to 70 percent to 90 percent or better. So in collaboration with our colleagues at um, Harborview Regional Burn Center, we are now planning a clinical trial of this technology and working closely with the FDA to obtain uh, investigational device exemption to use our device in the clinical trial. A key challenge. How to shrink this large footprint terahertz lab setup into a more compact device usable in an operating room and other settings. In this setup here, we have the capability to generate one of the broadest bandwidths of terahertz light, which has been historically inaccessible to researchers. Uh, we use nonlinear optical techniques, and using an air plasma source, we can cover the entire bandwidth between uh, 0.1 and 0.2 terahertz, all the way to 10 or 20, uh, sometimes 30 terahertz, depending on this type of source that we use. We would like to basically shrink the size of our devices to a portable handheld device com comparable to an ultrasound machine uh, and take it to a clinical environment inside an operating room and make a device that will be uh, deployable at the battlefield where uh, soldiers might sustain burns and can be used by uh, military medics to acquire a terrorist image of the wound. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.